crystal fuck out of us. I mean, deep fuck. And you mean to tell me shit not working? If you need a car, just DM EBK Sasa. Many are outraged on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram after being promised that their sheen cards were gonna be cleared out with prepaid cards, old credit cards, and old gift cards through a sheen glitch. I swear to God, if I do the sheen glitch and I go to jail, I'm bringing everybody and their mama with me. Let's leave that. If I go to jail for the sheen glitch, I love y'all. I'm saying it's gonna be a sheen glitch tomorrow. I may have missed the DoorDash glitch, but best believe I'm not missing this one. Y'all hacking Sheen the glitch, it's... Hack these student loans. Hack the IRS. Something. Let's talk about it. This all started when at EBK Sasa posted this video. Here they say, point of view, you finna make a new glitch for Sheen since the DoorDash one worked. Oh, y'all ready for the new glitch? And notice how glitches in like quotation marks. Like, what y'all really got going on over there? But no, seriously, it's just like a whole bunch of coding in the background. Like, this seems legit. Like, they really, like, for real. The DoorDash glitch was really real because people were like $17,000 in debt because that junk was like backfiring. So it's like, okay, how are you gonna do this and how is it not gonna backfire? As EBK Sasa also took to Instagram where they built trash for the glitch and so loaded and unloaded credit cards to people who did not have extra dead cards lying around oh and did i mention that the cards were 50 dollars a pop that should have been a red flag off the bat but a lot of people didn't really care but $50 for a prepaid credit card. At EBK Salsa also sold one-on-one -on -one tutorials for $100 and regular tutorials for $70 on how to use the credit cards. These are called methods, which are basically ways to get free money without doing anything. And y'all know that's not true. If you grew up in your grandma's house, you know she always said, ain't nothing free in this world, you gotta pay for everything. Y'all know the viruses that pop up, like free iPhone, da 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 when you was little and you was real enticed to press it. And you didn't press it because your mama said don't press it because it's going to give you a virus. It's basically this, but worse because you're losing money. So basically, what they do is they sell methods on how to get free stuff. So they basically tell you how to get free stuff and how to cheat the system. When in reality, they sell you this method and then post how you were like, thank you so much, da da da, and then block you. So no one really gets anything out of this. You just scamming people and it's a never ending cycle of lying. You know, you didn't hear that from me because... Who am I to expose the game? Like, if you if that's what you're doing, hey, keep going. Keep going. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But if you dumb enough to fall for it, you dumb enough to fall for it. I don't know. Don't ask me how I know all this, and I low-key hope I don't get in trouble for this. At EBK Salsa on Instagram, follow not only their backup account, but an account by the name of The Danny J. People assume that she was the one behind the glitch, but this screenshot says different. It seems as though EBK Salsa was actually working with Danny J, stating, It's not letting me DM you, boo, but text me on Telegram, EBK Salsa. Well, she responds, I messaged you on there and y'all can already see people mad because this happened actually after 8 o'clock when it was supposed to drop. At 8 o'clock, EBK Salsa was supposed to go live and explain what's going on or they didn't do that. And a lot of people went ahead and, you know, clicked on their following, found the nearest person with the face and they said, oh, you're the culprit. A lot of people in the comments going off, people are mad. You know what, let's go ahead and see what the streets gotta say about this. Grown ass woman lying on some weirdo shit. Tell me why they deleted their stories. Every last one of y'all gullible is Y'all done broke the app. I can't even do it. Like, Y'all didn't even give me a chance for a lot. I'm blurring this because if this is the real deal, I don't want nothing to do with it. I'm gonna leave this up to the FBI. If they come to me personally and say, hey, let me get that screenshot, I got you for sure. But I'm not gonna show everybody for them to get me in trouble. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna lie to you. This was a very, very, very successful scam because EBK Salsa's story was really long, just a whole bunch of receipts, or I like to call them receipts, of people saying, oh, thank you for sending the, you know, the credit card info, thank you for this, thank you for that, knowing that they probably blocked them after they, you know, screenshot it, but that's besides the point. They saw how big the DoorDash scandal was and used the lie around a glitch with one of the biggest shopping websites in the world, and y'all fell right into the trap, and I'm sorry. This really could have ended much worse though, baby. It could have worked and she took a lot of your money. And as I'm writing this, it's like 9.59 o'clock, so it's about an hour after all of this went down. Then like 30 minutes after everybody's raising hell, everyone's mad, they posted a countdown called Glitch, which is supposed to be when it's gonna go live or it's confirmed or whatever, and it's supposed to go off at 9 p.m. So then I come back to their account at 9 p.m. They're talking about, I'm gonna go live at 9.30 to let y'all know what's going on. I missed the live because I was making TikToks. 
sorry. EBK Salsa then starts posting screenshots of people saying that, you know, their order is confirmed, this, this, and that, and the third, and thank you for believing me, and all this stuff. But it's like, how much did you pay these people to say that? How much? A little tangy. I remember when I had this account called Mini Morals. I remember this one guy was going around deleting people accounts and I decided to take it in my own hands and like DM them like what are you doing? Like why are you deleting people accounts? Next thing you know my account was gone. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't play with scammers or hackers or none of that no more because that was very traumatic on me. Okay. So even after all of these screenshots were posted, I went back to Twitter and people were still saying it didn't work. So it was obviously just a scam and just something for EBK Salsa to post to cover her ass or their ass because people were going to find them. And I'm just waiting for like the next morning when the account is gone because look at this screenshot. You can't tell me they're not gonna make a getaway with all that money they just made. They in the car, oh they finna go shopping. From the times of like 7 p.m. to 8 p.m., the following count amassed from maybe 14,000, I wanna say, to 40,000. So it's no telling how many people actually spent money on those um, cards because you're thinking, okay, well, if I'm gonna get this $1,000 sheen card for free, what's gonna hurt? Like a $50 credit card isn't gonna hurt. So yeah, I just feel bad for all the people who lost their 50, 70, or $100 that they spent on this scam. And this just goes to show that you do not that nothing in this world is free and that you should not fall for these scams because they do not work and if they do work those people have it locked down to the point where it's only a select few who can really use it you know what i'm saying it's not really open to the public and if it is they're going to jail yes please do not fall for any more of these scams if somebody says something is free if somebody says they're going to get you something for free do not fall for it cash out clips don't answer those dms don't answer those sex dms porn all that is fake scamming do not talk to those people oh and if you did not notice i'm back on my little news grind but it's gonna be a look a lot better a lot more skit oriented a lot more creative because i don't want to just stand in front of the camera and like talk to you guys about random stuff that i really could care less about like i would rather make it fun and you know more entertaining for me and you so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time goodbye